a Tuesday night. Aaron, thank you. We are also following breaking news coming in right now from North Korea. What they're now saying about that U.S. soldier who crossed the DMZ into North Korea on his own. Let's get right to ABC's chief global affairs correspondent, Martha Raddatz. Martha, what have you learned tonight? David, this is the first public statement from North Korea since Travis King bolted across the border on purpose in front of a crowd of tourists less than a month ago. The North Koreans now saying he has expressed his willingness to seek refuge in North Korea or a third country after experiencing what they say is inhumane treatment and racial discrimination in the army. His family had told us something similar just a few weeks ago, saying he was struggling during his deployment with racism. Remember, Travis King also spent 47 days in jail after a fight and was facing discharge from the army. And tonight, the Pentagon saying they are still trying to facilitate his safe return. David? Martha Raddatz with the breaking headline from Washington. Martha, thank you. In my